Okay, so the first tool that I wanted to recommend is called Loom. It's a free screencasting tool to introduce new concepts to students or to create tutorials for them. And um, for example, in the first couple of weeks, I use Loom to create a lot of tutorials for my students to learn how to use Google Classroom, which is the platform we're currently using with them. And um, it's really funny because before I created the tutorials for them, I had to watch a few myself to learn how to actually use the platform. And, um, and I actually told them, look, this is my first tutorial and this is my first experience with Google Classroom. And I think this really helped us to, to bond, to bond even closer because um, it showed them that we're actually all on the same boat. I mean, they're forced through this experience, but I mean, we're finding ourselves in the same situation. So I think this puts us at the same sort of level and um, students really appreciated my being honest, I think. So anyway, apart from making tutorials, I also use Loom to create videos with PowerPoint presentations that I've designed for my students. And um, the cool thing about videos with Loom is that you don't only record the presentation, for example, your, your desktop or a specific tab that you want to select, but you also record your voice and most importantly, your face. It appears in the form of a spotlight or a little square and you can place it anywhere in the screen. Having your face there in the presentation gives it that personal touch, makes that tiny little difference that students really appreciate because um, it feels as if you were there with them. So I think that really, you know, that really can help them to, to relate a bit more and to feel a bit more like they're with you. So um, using Loom is very easy. Um, and unlike Screencastify, it doesn't have any time restriction. So you can record for as long as you want. And you can edit your videos in a very simple way because Loom enables you to trim them or to leave out bits. And this is very useful in case you make a mistake or you get stuck. And you can also pause your video, which is very useful for, for longer recordings. And um, once you're finished recording your video, it's also really easy to share it because you can send the link by email or you can invite specific people and even password protect the video if you want. And you can also download the video as an MP4 file for you to have saved. Um, Finally, another feature that I really liked about Loom is that you get notified every time somebody watches your video. And I think this is really cool to monitor students' work and to make sure they're actually watching the tutorials we're providing them with. And um, once students have watched the video, they can leave some feedback in the form of an emoji or they can also leave some written comments. And I encourage them to write some comments or to write some questions they may have because this really helps me to design my next lesson based on their current needs. So if you've never used Loom, it's really easy to start using Loom. You just need to download the app on your computer, or you can also download the extension on Chrome. But personally, I recommend downloading the app because it has some more features like an annotating tool that enables you to write on the presentation as you show it to the students. So, with Loom, you'll be able to make very professional looking videos in little time. So try it out and see for yourself.